Look at this gorgeous 3,000 square foot store and the customers are coming in for class. This is the super large classroom, fully equipped. Day two of Stanford's Lots of room. And we're going to use uh, mini donut pants that you get at cooking.com. Make a note of that. And we're going to make donut necklaces and all kinds of fun things with colored beauty, bright, black, white, metallic. Let's get started. Here we go. Beauty brights are melting. I'm melting. <laughs> oh, is that a great? Good job. There. Did you put yours in? Tell me when to wow. Are you guys making some rings? Okay, you're good. You can stop. I got rings in my thing to do. See, that's what I did on that. Beautiful. Just oh, gorgeous. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Just beautiful. Good job. <laughs> Okay, molding. Now we're on to molding. Okay, we're molding. Let's see that molding pour. Work those Great. fingers. Work those fingers. Work those fingers. I still have. We need to say that even Picasso had phases. I don't know if he had a blue phase, but here's someone with a blue phase. Big blue phase. What's in your melting pot? What? Let me see what's in your pot. God, it's blue. How did Surprise. we know that? Surprise. Surprise. To say nothing of the metallic phase. <laughs> And what's in your melting pot? Oh, black. So how did, oh, you did them all in black and put perfect pearls on them. Yes, a perfect pearl lover. Okay, got it. Here, and here is the, um, the Raku and Verdigris um, obsession. <laughs> For sure. What's in your pot, just the black? Uh huh. Just, and then we've got some kind of bee going over here. Yeah. And last but not least, someone who couldn't mold enough things. <laughs> My I, God. I, I, I think that's kind of where I was at. I, 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 I think we liked we liked molding. I sure got a lot of lovely. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of lovely molds. Mercy. Okay, this has been a good day. Oh yeah. We're going to do the cloisonne technique with our mosaic stone stamp from Starving Artist Stamps, and we're ready to begin. So we put our chipboard or our cardboard face down in black beauty. Okay, now we're going to let it cool. It has to be cool for the next step. The new lens. All right. <laughs> so ink up your stamp with a gold pigment pad. You'll like the results best with gold. Next step is line up all your Perfect Pearls colors, pick a nice assortment, and take your brush and randomly brush on your colors. The next step is, we're going to heat the surface with a heat gun. What happens when you heat perfect pearls on top of black beauty? They turn very bright and they become permanent. They become one with the beauty. Mm -hmm. So you will know when they're done because you'll see their, bless you. You'll see some air pockets forming, that's okay. 
but you'll almost see a little bit of the UD start moving around. Then you'll know that everything is really done. Okay. So you want to make sure everything is extremely hot. Okay, now the next part, it all is very important because perfect placement is the whole key here. Okay. Oh, gosh. Awesome. Isn't that great? That is great. And everyone will be different depending on the color of okay, perfect who curls. Makes that Starving Artist Stamp makes yep, the stamp. Okay, now, you can turn.